Welcome back. Well, the DEA Seki Shakti Kanta Das makes a case for country's first gold exchange today. Well, he said it could be a transparent gold exchange where all the individuals, jewelers, and dealers could come online and trade onto that one. Joining me is since it's Om Sundaram PR from World Gold Council. I also have Mohit with me from Ibja. Let's get their views on how possible that is and whether or not and how will that really work. So, Om, you go first. What's your sense really coming in for this one? Shakti Kanta Das has asked for a proposal for this one, and I understand the World Gold Council already has put that up. Yes, uh, it's one of our recommendations last year, and I think it's a very good idea. It's uh, actually uh, improving the infrastructure for gold. And as he rightly said, it is going to improve the transparency in pricing, which is uh, good for the traders and uh, individuals. So I think it's a great idea, and the industry needs to explore this further. Mohit Kamboj, what's your sense? I mean, today you've had an excellent uh, summit, and what do you take away from that? And what uh, what Shakti Kanta Das said? I mean, what do you think is that a possibility one year down the line, if not more? I very appreciate that Das Sahib has made a positive industry for the positive ek proposal. Rakha samne. पहले भी हम लोग सोच रहे थे कि इसको कैसे भी लॉन्च करें एक्सचेंज को वर्ल्ड गोल्ड काउंसिल के साथ केस स्टडी जो उन्होंने की है उनके साथ मिलके आने वाले समय में एक प्रेजेंटेशन हम सरकार को रखेंगे और मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि एक साल तो नहीं लेकिन छह महीने के अंदर इसे पॉजिटिवली हम लोग लॉन्च तक पहुंच सकते हैं Mohit, now how is the gold going on and gold exchange on it? How much difference will it be? I mean, how will it change the way you do business right now? Look, Daas Saab has said that he is a very big sixer. He has put the GST, which I understand, that after GST, that after GST, 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 तो उन्होंने एक्सचेंज एक्सचेंज की रचना करके उन्होंने रखा क्योंकि एक प्राइस हो जाएगा स्टेट्स के टैक्सेशन के इश्यूज सब सॉल्व हो जाएंगे तो मुझे लगता है काफी बेनिफिट होगा ट्रेडर्स को बेनिफिट होगा कंज्यूमर्स को बेनिफिट होगा साथ ही साथ जो लास्ट जो गोल्ड खरीदता है हमारा कंज्यूमर उसको प्राइस फ्लक्चुएशन और रियल प्राइस में जीएसटी आने के बाद इसका काफी फायदा होगा so, what's your sense? I mean, uh, we ha you have been talking about a gold bank for the longest time. Now, finance comes into it as well. So, do you see that it would be more, uh, you know, more possible on a local basis than take an international rates? Uh, yes, I, I think uh, this is the exchange is more about uh, domestic rates because international trading means that the currency must be fully convertible. Mm. Even Shanghai has not been able to do it. So, what we are talking about is creating a transparent market. And uh, it's all very timely. Many things are happening around gold, and the discussions have just moved away from duty and smuggling and other stuff to you know exchanges and collection centers and hallmarking. And you know, thanks to associations like IBJA, I think uh, it's going in the right direction. And I, uh, the exchange is all about domestic trading. Mm. Uh, as sources of supply increase, monetization uh, channel will uh, bring in some gold. Uh, there is also imported gold. So uh, Turkey does the same thing. You can import. You can get gold from anywhere. But all trading is recorded in the exchange. That makes it a very, very transparent way of dealing with it. That's just one of the benefits. And the exchange itself could probably offer uh, custodial uh, services. It could off offer many things. It can also clear refineries. It can actually become a quasi-regulator as we go along, which most exchanges are. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of benefits attendant to it. And a $35 billion business uh, industry does uh, deserve a good infrastructure. You know, fair point, but I was talking to the exchanges as well. So how will that impact the exchanges which already are trading in gold futures and forwards? Will it mean less participation there? Um, on the contrary, as uh, gold gets discussed more, uh, it's not that those who already discussed are going to lose out. The pie is going to increase, actually. So if you're talking about the existing exchanges, I think it's only going to bring more people more comfortable with the exchange. And let's not forget, th these are largely futures, understood as futures. This is going to do, as I said, more physical. And he has even spoken today about individuals coming in if they see that the price is very high because supply is, for various reasons, short. You could, as an individual, actually go and do it. Now, how it is to be done, we have to think through it. I guess probably that could drive through the monetization route. Banks will suddenly see there is a huge opportunity because the prices are going up, and they will offer something better to the consumers and probably put a ton into the exchange. So it is going to be very dynamic, but all that it will do is it will give the market forces to play on gold rather than the current system where OTC does bring in a certain amount of opacity. Mohit, I want to talk to you about the gold monetization scheme because that is the another thing that uh, Mr. Das talked about. While uh, the gold monetization scheme itself has not picked up, the gold bond scheme has done very well. So has the gold coin sales as well. Of course, they are talking about some changes here. What do you think needs to be changed into this right now to make it more attractive to the buyers? 
देखिए गोल्ड मोनिटाइजेशन स्कीम जो है वो एक देश के लिए रिफॉर्म है वो इकोनॉमी के लिए रिवाइवल है और वर्ल्ड में आज से पाँच से दस साल बाद ये जब स्कीम हिट हो जाएगी जो मोदी जी का सपना है मोदी एरा बोल सकते हैं उसमें बहुत बड़ा रिफॉर्म सिर्फ गोल्ड इंडस्ट्री के लिए नहीं ओवरऑल इकोनॉमी के लिए मुझे ऐसा लगता है इसके अंदर थोड़े से इश्यूज लकुने रह गए हैं उसको सरकार उसके ऊपर दोबारा मतलब सरकार ने पहली बार ऐसा किया है कोई भी पॉलिसी बनाने के लिए लोगों का पार्टिसिपेशन साथ में लिया एसोसिएशन का हर तरह के एसोसिएशन का चाहे रिफाइनरी है चाहे उसका जो भी थोड़े बहुत रह गए उसको फुलफिल करके इसको जब तक हम सब ज्वेलर्स के पास लेके जाएंगे और आने वाले इसको अब छह महीना आठ महीना साल भर का समय दीजिए ये स्कीम जरूर सक्सेस होगी रा सवाल बॉन्ड का बॉन्ड एक बहुत बड़ा एक अच्छा ऑप्शन सरकार ने दिया लोगों को विश्वास है सरकार के ऊपर आपको इंटरेस्ट भी मिलता है और आपका सोने के जो भी पांच साल के बाद वैल्यू हो उस पर आपको रिडीम कर सकते हैं कोलेट्रल की तरह यूज कर सकते हैं कॉइन फिजिकल गोल्ड में महात्मा गांधी जी का कॉइन और अशोक चक्र का कॉइन वैसे काफी सक्सेसफुल है लेकिन मनीषा जी मैं आपको एक बात बताना पाऊंगा जो आज दास साहब ने बात की ये एक्सचेंज की उनका कंपटीशन पैदा करना एम सी एक्स या दूसरे यू सी एक्स या आईसीएक्स एक्सचेंज का मतलब नहीं था जो मैं समझा उनका कहने का मतलब था कि घर में कोई हाउस होल्ड के पास सोना पड़ा है और किसी ज्वेलर को डिमांड है या किसी एक रिटेलर को डिमांड है तो एक तरफ आपके पास सेलर्स आ गए कि ये आदमी सोना बेचना चाहता है ये लोग सोना खरीदना चाहते हैं और वो एक प्राइस के ऊपर ट्रेड कर सकते हैं डायरेक्ट कि ये सोना इनको बेच सकते हैं अभी तक एक्सचेंज क्या होता है जितने एक्सचेंज है उसमें कंज्यूमर बेस्ड डिलीवरी बेस्ड नहीं हो पाता है वो बेसिकली एक फ्यूचर्स के लिए एक आर्बिटेज के लिए हेज करने के लिए यूज होता है लेकिन दैट इज नॉट फॉर द डायरेक्ट कंज्यूमर टू सेल योर ज्वेलरी और योर गोल्ड इन दैट तो उनका एक बहुत ही वाइड एक उनकी थॉट थी जो काफी एक्सेप्टेबल और काफी एक एक न्यू थॉट एक बोल सकते हैं वो लेके आए हैं जिसमें कल को आपको घर में सोना पड़ा पांच सौ ग्राम आप बेचना चाहते हो कोई रिटेलर लेना चाहता है तो आपका नाम आप रिटेलर का नाम गोल्ड एक्सचेंज इट कैन बी अ टाइप ऑफ सच अ थिंग जो मैं समझ रहा हूँ और मुझे ऐसा एक नया आइडिया है इसको वर्कआउट कर सकते हैं वर्ल्ड गोल्ड काउंसिल के साथ बैठ के इसे वर्कआउट करेंगे इसको कैसे हम लोगों तक ले जा सकते हैं सरकार को एक प्रेजेंटेशन बना के देंगे इस पर You know, if you look at the import numbers, then Som, and even as there has been a duty which is at record high, there has been no change on that. What's your sense on what is India looking at in sense of import numbers for this year? With just a month to go, I mean, the last number I read was less than 700 tons. Yeah, um, as you know, I don't give a forecast on imports. Mm -hmm. We just talk about demand. <clears throat> the demand is, uh, as I said, just um, it will be around 850 to 950 for the year. Mm -hmm. uh, three quarters have gone by. This is the calendar year. And um, as we see, there is not a significant uh, difference in the stocking up or stocking down. So uh, we could probably see imports tracking the same trend, you know, compared with last year. So I don't want to give an exact figure because we don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, on the last week, somebody could just, uh, you know, import more and stock it up. It doesn't mean anything on demand. Demand as such seems very, very stable at the moment. It is not runaway demand. It is also not uh, the thing that people have walked away from gold. Uh, they're finding the prices a little volatile, so probably people are waiting in the wings to buy more. And as I said this morning, there's a huge amount of latent demand for people to come in and save money in gold. And these uh, offer lots of choices, the bond and the monetization, etc. different ways of holding gold. And that's good for the consumer, and that's good for gold as well. Ultimately, I said, it is not the issue of import of gold which matters. It is a fact that the value addition after you import using that one dollar, which could be otherwise used, that is it high enough. And all that is happening today is only driving that value addition up, which is good. Positively. Nisha ji, one thing today is very clear to the whole country at the whole country level. कि सरकार का रवैया जेम्स एंड ज्वेलरी इंडस्ट्री के लिए बदल चुका है <laughs> ये सरकार और ये ब्यूरो आफ्टर मेनी इयर्स ये सरकार ये ब्यूरो कैसी ने जेम्स एंड ज्वेलरी की महत्वाकांक्षा और महत्व समझ चुके हैं और वो जेम्स एंड ज्वेलरी इंडस्ट्री को रिवाइव करने में आप भी देख सकते हैं किस हिसाब से सरकार प्रयास प्रयास कर रही है और पिछले सरकार के हिसाब से कि सोना मत खरीदो और ये सरकार के हिसाब से बॉन्ड खरीदो कॉइन्स खरीदो मोनिटाइजेशन में आओ एक्सचेंज लेके आओ तो एक बहुत ही पॉजिटिव रूप के साथ आप बोलते थे हम बोलते अच्छे दिन किधर गए लेकिन ये अच्छे दिन की शुरुआत ही है आप इसके रिजल्ट जरूर थोड़े दिन बाद आएंगे लेकिन फॉर द जेम्स एंड ज्वेलरी इंडस्ट्री दिस इज अच्छे दिन और इसकी शुरुआत हो चुकी है सरकार की तरफ से और अभी हमारी पहल बनती है कि हम कितनी जल्दी एग्रेसिवली उनके साथ 
कंधे से कंधा मिला के इंडस्ट्री को आगे लेके जाते हैं Thank you so much for joining me and that's all the time that we have on hot commodities thank you so much for watching